promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome once again to Cheap Shot Entertainment, Cheap Shot Reviews, uh, the dedicated movie channel for Cheap Shot Entertainment. I am your host, Luke, and we've just gone back from the film known as The Duke. It was originally supposed to be released in 2020, but I'm not going to remind you what happened in that year. And so it was, it's been released this year, 2022, and it is in wide release in the cinemas. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this film, I know Batman's been released and there's other films still playing, but this one actually was really good. And if you like British comedies, um, you know, it's definitely one to watch. Did feel like I was one of the youngest people in there though um but that being said it's exactly what you want from a british comedy but i will see you in the main part of the video please join us if you would care to subscribe and uh, like the video then please do and uh, we'll see you there So, The Duke was released in 2022, but filmed in 2020, 2019, 2020, originally scheduled for release uh, in 2020. It is a Certificate 12, and uh, it is about a, uh, a chap called Kempton Brunton, who is a 60-year-old who taxi driver who basically got into a little bit of trouble by stealing... A picture of the Duke of Wellington that the uh, UK government had commissioned to uh, buy uh, and put on display in the National Gallery in London. Well, he uh, goes about performing a misdemeanor and it gets him into a little bit of a sticky wicket, shall we say. Um, it's really good, actually. It's based on a true story, so the film says it is like I say it's a comedy it's a drama it's got a little bit of uh, sadness in it when you get to a, a secondary plot uh, of the daughter not being there and why she's not there and the reason that uh, um, the main character Kempton does uh, uh, you know, the, writes his plays and his, his scripts and things. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good, feel-good British comedy right on, the, right on the nose. You can see the ending coming, so, I mean, I'm not, still not going to spoil it, so I think you should go and see this film and make up your own mind, as I always say. But it is a wonderful film. Uh, deserving of more of the score than it's got on uh, on IMDb. Met Metacritic score is slightly better, but I feel like um, that is closer to what I would be giving this one. It, uh, it is directed by Roger Mitchell, and writers are Richard Bean. I wanted to call him Mr Bean then, which is completely different. And... Uh, yeah, it is, uh, like I say, it's a really good film. I really enjoyed this one. I think Josh did as well. It stars Jim Broadbent as Kempton Brunton, um, Heather Craney as Debbie. Um, we've got, um, let me find, uh, Matthew Good as Jeremy, uh, John Heffernan as... Neddy, who is the prosecutor. Um, we've got uh, Helen Mirren as Dorothy Bunton, uh, the wife of Kempton Bunton. <coughs> and 
yeah, it's it's really good. Um, Fionn uh, Whitehead plays Jackie Bunton, um, and it's it's not a huge cast at all, and it's not fully they're not fully well known people apart from Jim Broadbent and Helen Mirren really which makes it even better because it, this one's probably going to fly under under the radar and not get any appreciation until later on but I really do adore this film it is well made it is not over the top um, it has the little bit of, of peril um, like I say it is the style of a British comedy where there's uh, lots of seriousness in terms of the family but also that little bit of um, non-realistic <coughs> action in the fact that someone like um, Kempton Bunton could walk into an art gallery and steal a uh, you know a, a really expensive painting a hundred and forty thousand pounds in 1960 was a lot of money now wouldn't even get you a one bed terrace but in 1960 that was huge um so yeah like i say it plays on the family man aspect you know like i say kempton gets himself into a little bit of bother it's in and out of prison for odds and sods um the first bit was really funny takes the uh BBC Two out of his TV so he doesn't have to pay a, a, a licence fee uh, which is the basis of this film is, is him uh, campaigning to give pensioners and war veterans a free TV licence to um, combat loneliness and isolation and it's something that's hit really hard in recent times as well which makes it very relevant but it's done in a way that's not rubbing it in your face it's treated with the contempt it would have gotten in 1960 now he'd be a martyr and he was back then clearly by the uh, you know the way the film goes and if you read up about him it's uh, yeah it's quite an interesting story so he was campaigning got put in prison for three weeks basically for not paying his license fee and and saying he, he didn't have to pay his license fee because he didn't he couldn't get bbc and uh yeah he uh he got put in prison for it so he became a bit of a martyr for that it, it obviously it, it wasn't bought in for another 40 years that that over 75s would get a free uh tv license um so it took a long time for him to uh, make his mark on the world, but he, he absolutely did. And uh, yeah, it's just a real feel-good movie. There's uh, a little bit of, you know, comedy. He stands up for the little man. There's uh, Jim Broadbent. He's just, well, he's just really good anyway. And playing alongside Helen Mirren, you've got two veterans of the acting world alongside all of the sort of newer faces that I'm sure will be used in a lot of other films. It's it's a Warner Brothers movie as well. So, um, you know, it's got wide release. It will be beloved by the British people, <laughs> this one. Um, probably not seen as anything great by other countries, but you, you really do have to stand understand British comedy to get this one whilst not laugh out loud funny all the time it's not crazy either it's it's built in reality and that's what makes it funny and this guy's got a silver tongue uh, especially when he's in the dock as well uh, in the in the courtroom so um, that's where most of the laughs come from but they are scattered throughout the movie and and you really really want him to come out on top in this one and that is the mark of a really good really well written film so do i think that you should go and watch this film absolutely yes go and see it
by any means necessary, as long as it's legal. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, get this one watched because it is a wonderful film. That is The Duke. And uh, I am Luke. And I have been your host. You are the Cheap Shot Nation. Please join us for more movie reviews as we move along. We've got some old school reviews coming up for you as well. Um, which will be absolutely fantastic to do, including Ninja Turtles, which I had a, uh, a bit of a, a spending spree on and uh, just bought the trilogy. So, you know, the Turtles 1 uh, and Turtles 2, these are the live action films, by the way, and Turtles 3, begrudgingly. But there you go. That is the life of a man who watches films and reviews them. You've got to take the rust with the spoon, haven't you? Um, anyway, I will see you next time. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Goodbye. Hiya.